brothers and sisters. We started off the month of Ramadan. We were excited when the moon was to be sighted in order to enter the month of Ramadan. We entered the month of Ramadan. We got things rolling. Everything became more serious. We started engaging in fasting. We started doing extra salah. We started the recital of the Quran. We started the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I hope that we have not actually uh, given up or we have not slowed down in any way because right now we've gotten to the last part of Ramadan which is the most important part of Ramadan unfortunately I like to give an example of a football match very unfortunately but the most interesting part of the match is right at the end especially when you have not scored enough goals what happens though everyone comes alive because they know these dying moments could actually change the entire course of what's going to be happening so I promise you, these dying moments are in fact not dying moments. For Ramadan, we don't call them dying moments because they are the moments of becoming alive. You have something known as Laylatul Qadr. The gift of Allah is that this night of decree and destiny is something massive. He hid exactly which night it was. He has told us various signs. He has informed us through Muhammad وسلم, that you need to look for it in the last 10 nights. Then he says one of the odd nights. It's possible it could be an even night as well according to some narrations, but most likely one of the odd nights. Most likely one of the last few nights. And that is so that people don't give up on the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, worshipping Allah. We make our promises. We want to achieve the forgiveness of Allah. Allah says, Laylatul Qadri khayrum min al -fishah. The night of decree is more powerful, is better, khayrun, than 1,000 months. That's almost 84 odd years. Imagine one night. So we need to liven up the nights now. We're coming towards the end of Ramadan. We liven up the nights by doing what? Ibadah, dhikr, istighfar, tawbah, tilawatul Qur'an. We, we stand in salah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We assist others. We go out. There is something called iftar uh, al-sa'im, you know, to, to go out and try and help those who are fasting to open their fast at the end of that particular day of fasting. There is a great act of worship and it is a great uh, there is a great reward for that act of worship. So we need to think up all these things, go and reach out to the poor. There is Sadaqatul Fitr, start planning, start preparing, you know, start making packs or whatever else you have to do to reach out to the poorest of the people in order to be able to benefit them maximum. Your charities during this month, your goodness during this month and your resolutions. People make resolutions at all odd times of the year. We make resolutions when we are closest to Allah, when He has bestowed upon us a beautiful season of forgiveness. So make the resolutions. I'm not going to go back to my bad ways. I'm not going to miss a salah from now. I'm going to dress appropriately for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm going to improve my relationship with Allah, my relationship with my spouse, my family members, my children, my parents, those who live with me. I'm going to make sure that I use my tongue in the most blessed and proper way. If you start off with the dhikr of Allah, you will not, act, you will not become vulgar and abusive with your tongue. So I call on you to end this beautiful month in such a way that you deserve the Eid that is about to come by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.